Dear Soren, I'm afraid I have to inform you that the radiation has messed up your brain. You made up a parallel universe to cope with what you have done. In it, Nia betrayed you after using you for an experiment to find the theory of everything, while in reality, you betrayed her. She was subject one in experiment A. You abused her and then left her to rot, pretended like she didn't exist. Remember how you wanted to be great with her? Well, you became a suspect in a criminal case and then got away with your crimes and she became a whistleblower and exposed her own government for covering up the abuse case. You really are a genius. Congratulations. However, you made a mistake. She survived long enough to tell the story. Attached, I am sending a video from her will. It's a truth you've been running from for four years. It's time you stop running. I'm sorry. Don't shoot the messenger. Hey, we should really start some YouTube drama, by the way. And like, we could just fucking rule the internet if you know what we need is like some kind of ridiculous fake story about I don't know we need to be called out for a scam but really we didn't do it or some hey 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 or something like that not like that but yeah we need we need to start some kind of ridiculous drama you put up a tweet saying exerbia is a liar manipulator abuser whatever Obviously, I was going to give some context on that. No more than that, but going to give a bit of context on that. That was all. I'm not going to deny. I wasn't going to deny anything you said. I changed no, all I my posts. I ch no, I ch Do you know how many signs you already need these days for passwords? I changed. So, just be clear, you're saying you don't know what it is. I have it like written somewhere, but I don't have it right now. Okay. When will you give me the uh, password for that? Tomorrow. Why to the point? I don't understand. What are you doing this evening? Because I did it at home. Right. So you're not going home this evening. No, I'm not going home today because we're moving. The whole the whole department is getting moved. Right. And we have to go to a different location inside the hospital because they close <laughs> closing this department. I think you're just out there to fucking try to like make me commit suicide, so you're done. I don't trust you for shit. I don't I don't I really I don't care about the course. Oh, it's to make you, to make me look bad or to make you look bad? <laughs> you mean that day why, when why, you said, why, 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 you mean that day when you said, when I said I couldn't continue being your friend and be on the podcast unless I knew you were trustworthy, and then you replied, do you know I once set a woman's computer on fire? For once, don't talk through me and listen to what I say because this is constantly you talking to me while well, you abused me. So, uh, are you talking about that day when you turned to me when I said I couldn't be your friend anymore? You said like, do you know I once set fire to a woman's computer? Uh, no, I'm talking about the day when uh, I, didn't, I didn't say I once set fire to a woman's computer. Oh, what did you say then? Shall I? I'll just I'll, I'll repeat back the story to you if you like. There was a. Uh, um, Someone who uh, I knew at university, uh, someone I didn't particularly like, uh, and um, weeks later, anyway, after he had uh, slept with someone I uh, was involved with, and I was a bit annoyed about the whole thing, weeks later his uh, computer caught fire, and it was a running joke that I had uh, done something to it, but I, as you know, I don't know anything about technology, so it's not like I did anything like that.
what I remember you know, happened. You know, you know, saying you don't. You now saying you don't remember that. What I remember happened is that I had a panic attack. I had a panic attack in front of you. You, re you really, you need to stop calling me and telling me these things, okay? I don't want to talk to you anymore. You, re you really, you need to stop calling me and telling me these things, okay? You need to stop calling me and telling me these things, okay? I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to talk to you anymore. When I think about you, when I, uh, when I think about when we've been together, it makes me, regardless of uh, uh, where this goes, regardless of where um, cat, uh, regardless of where everything goes, I don't know. I just um, I would. I am glad to have been alive and to know you now. Essentially, I'm glad to have been alive and to know you in a way that. Uh, I suppose I can love you now that you and I are both alive at the same time. And that's nice. And that's nice. How the fuck do I think, what, we're breaking up and I think I'm, uh, well, I'm just okay about it or something, just because you've decided, like, no. Where is this whole thing going? Are you trying to say something uh, rather definitive? Um, it, it, it took a long time before we actually talked about it and before, before I actually could get it through you, how you had been with me. You I didn't, yeah, you're right, I didn't, I, because I didn't remember, I didn't realise I've been quite, um, so I... I told, so you, that, I told yeah. you the first night after it, you'd been violent with me, and the, the, a couple of days, even during the last conversation when we actually talked about it, you first said stuff like a uh, feminist victim thing. Yeah, I, that's pretty much what I'm hanging on to, too, seeing you again, because that's essentially whenever I feel creative. That's like my creative life is tied to seeing you again, being able to actually, yeah, like I said, just to be able to hold you and fall asleep with you. I think that's what I'm, I'm looking forward to the most. It's actually falling asleep with you. It's the, the safest, like, the most lovely, calmest time in my life when I can just uh, hold you when you're just there next to me and we just fall asleep together. Yeah, it's just lovely. And we'll do that again and everything is going to be absolutely fine. Everything is going to be absolutely fine. Like, there are some fucking great times ahead. I don't think either of us even know. Everything is going to be fucking awesome. Yeah, and um, we're gonna see each other soon. Mm, yeah, really. Yeah, I was gonna say I really want to throw up in my own mouth, but I don't. I just, uh, yeah, I miss the shit out of you. I miss your bizarre humour in, in person, and uh, your bizarre Dutchness, and your frankly rather lovely face, and your frankly rather lovely body, and your frankly rather lovely feel of actually being next to me. Yeah, just everything is going to be okay and there's really no reason to be sad about anything ever. And everything's going to be okay. I had this really fucking weird dream last night where the world was disappearing and um, the end was coming and everything started to shimmer. The, the air started to shimmer as if it got texture and, and the moment that started to happen I, uh, I was running with my friend Robin uh, in my dream um, and running away from it and then everything became dark and started to disappear and then suddenly when everything disappeared everything went back to the original state and the whole of life and the universe just started all over again and it was kind of beautiful but also weird in a way and I uh, had some I know you were in the dream at random times, but totally different scenes that didn't seem to relate. I just really wanted to, um, I don't know, share some stuff with you. And yeah, okay, I had a good evening and um, God, I, I really fucking love you a lot.
be really cool if you had this. Um, uh, this interesting keeps correcting to Dutch. If you had this kind of um, demonic character, I think that'd be. I've never done that before. That might be really nice if there was some kind of a um, character who actually introduces the, the decision, and that's it. Motivated, motivated by the knowledge decision, like that's it. Choosing between supreme knowledge or um, carrying on as a human. It's like the ultimate sacrifice, isn't it? Having to let go of being human. about things or whatever, it doesn't need to be about collaboration. Where people are coming from, coming from or any of this bullshit, we, just call, we call it the mind attic. I think that'd be perfect. It's a word that's universal. Uh, that's it. It's small enough to say, uh, and it's something that works. That's what we call it. Mind attic. The mind attic. Do you think that works? I think it does. I think that works. Yeah. I think it's simple enough to remember, but it, I think it's small enough to remember. To, to get across what we're trying to do.